In your handout is an action plan, and I'm always giving action plans that show my clients, banks and sales managers, how to work with one another to engage and to put into practice the things that I've talked about today. And you'll remember, hopefully, what it was like to shake hands left-handed and how awkward it is. And when you go to say some of these things to your client, it's going to feel incredibly awkward. But you'll see it gets very, very comfortable and you start getting really good at crafting your communications in a way that resonates for your ideal prospects. So everything I do is about anticipating and adapting to change, you know, and what made Wayne Gretzky so great is I think he had the ability to read the environment and adapt more quickly. So he was skating to where the puck is faster than his competitors. And I think we're all challenged today. No matter how successful we've been, I don't think we can rest on our years of success any longer. And we all have to be really reading the tea leaves and be willing to be a little bit uncomfortable as we hone and refine some of the things that we do. So let's open it up for some questions. So when you look at those positioning statements, yes. those are on the website. Those may or may not come from the owner. They may or may not come from the marketing department. But they sure as hell don't come from the accounting department where you may be targeting, right? Yep. So you have different audiences and different beliefs in there. How do you navigate that? and try to break that down. Because if you come in with one thing that someone may not even be familiar with on the website, yep. Yep. then you're stuck. And I'll give one example. Uh -huh. We talk to companies about their core values, yep. and we ask them what their core values are. Nine times out of 10, they have no idea. They yep. can't even name one. Uh -huh. And probably, maybe even the owner can't even name the core values because the website was created by an outside firm or blah, blah, blah. So, so how, do you, how do you navigate that? Yeah, so that may not be the best question. And so, the analogy I use is, is that of a, a batting average. You know, a baseball player with a 250 batting average is successful one out of four times. Nothing you do works 100% of the time. And if you think about how any form of athletic competition occurs, is those athletes are constantly striving and trying things and making small adjustments and seeing what works. So nothing I've shared with you today works 100% of the time. But it is through trial and practice and, and getting to know people on a different level and listening for the unique things that whoever you're talking to, because it's called decision maker language, and it's certain phrases, it's their verbal fin uh, fingerprint. So you and I have a verbal fingerprint as well. And so you want to listen to those things that matter and that are important and then look for opportunities to feed those back in. It's not easy. I'm not telling you that it is. And I'm not telling you what I've told you today is going to work 100% of the time. But if you're a batter and you can go from 250 to 300, you're in the Hall of Fame. You make a lot more money and you've made some small adjustments and you've practiced. And that's helped you to be more successful percentage-wise more often. And that's all I can hope for you and I is that we get a little bit better percentage-wise. My goal in life is to be better today than I was yesterday, just a little bit better every day. I want to be just a little bit better today with my children, with my relationships, in my business. I want to be just a little bit better today. You know, and that's my mindset and that's how I live my life. Ray, when I'm trying to answer a question like value proposition or even when I'm in front of a prospect and I'm trying to make that really succinct, it's a challenge for me. Because right? I want to I want to kind of explain concepts that take a little more time and get into that, you know, because it holds ten thousand songs, it's, when you're talking about it, yeah. you know, it's hard. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you could do a whole workshop on that. Any suggestions? Well uh, I know for myself I can be a little wordy. And so learning that less is more is really important and I want to try to say enough that's going to cause somebody to want to learn more. One of my struggles throughout my career is I want to tell my clients everything that I think is so cool about what I do. And what happens is they don't engage. I've given them too much information and they, I haven't left them with curiosity. So my coaching to you would be is probably chop what you say down by 25, 50%. Say less, but, but 
you know, it, it's like chumming and fishing. You know, you throw the bait out there and that brings the fish up. And so when you're talking to people, you want to kind of chum a little bit and throw some bait and, and shorten what you say and throw it out there and watch what happens. Does that make sense? But more than likely, like me, you're saying too much. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, good. Great. Uh, our firm does a lot of advertising and just building on what you're talking about. It was been proven years ago. A headline does 80% of the work of that ad. Too many people start with body copy instead of the Brilliant. Uh huh. Yep. Brilliant. Thank you for that comment. What else? Other questions? Well, folks, for those of you who are staying for the uh, workshop, it's going to get better. It's going to get a lot better. If you thought that was good, I hope you're staying for the workshop because I'm going to blow your mind with what I'm going to show you this afternoon. And for those of you who are leaving, have a great holiday. Thanks for your time, guys. If you give me your card, I'll send you the deck.